Hi, I'm Mark. I'm from Cernus Magus, Glastonbury's music shop. About um, a few months ago in March, a man came into the store. His name is Judge Smith, and he's uh, one of the founder members of a band called Van de Graaff Generator. And he said, Mark, I need a thing that I can sing into one end of, like a trumpet or a trombone, and I want a synthesizer noise to come out the other end. So I said, what, like you want a speaker in the horn and a microphone where the mouthpiece is? Yes, exactly, he said. It doesn't need to make many sounds. Uh, and then he said, I've got some stuff already. So he had a um, CV, a pitch to CV gate controller, DigiTown one. And I said, oh, well, we could utilize that perhaps. It's a 19 inch rack, bring it in. And uh, he had various microphones, including a, a small electric condenser microphone from Tandy, probably in the 1970s, which I said, oh, well, that would work in the, in the mouthpiece of a, an instrument. Maybe we could use that. So we had all these bits. And then I said, why don't we do it with Arduino? Would Arduino not be more interesting? Uh, I tried the DigiSound thing out. Great, really interesting thing. Great if you want to uh, connect it to a modular system and have some LFO stuff going on. and uh, Very good in a 19-inch rack, but perhaps not so good for a performer on stage because he'll be like rocking out with this horn and then this big 19-inch rack. So I said, we want to put the whole thing inside the horn. And to a degree, that worked. And then he said, oh, but I want it to be self-contained and for it to be amplified. So I've had to modify it a little bit. Um, but now that what that means is um, in addition to the horn, he has this rather nice uh, chocolate box amplifier, uh, jack input, 3.5 millimeter jack output, single volume control, uh, very simple little thing, runs off a nine volt battery, quite good for guitar. Also uh, works as a fuzz box, but that's not what we're using it for. So he said, I already have this existing Chinese horn thing that I don't need to utilize. Could you, could you, could you use that? So I said, bring it in, let's have a look at that. Um, so we've ended up with um, this little beast. And uh, Judge is a little bit older than me. And I figured that when he was a boy, certainly when I was a boy, we were playing around with photography uh, but we were playing around with 110 film and I figured he's a little bit older than me. He's probably going to have used a Kodak Brownie. So I'd got a Kodak Brownie and decided that I was going to source the, uh, uh, house the electronics inside the Kodak, Kodak Brownie and then uh, put a speaker in the end. So I found a rather fetching speaker in an old radio that matches the patina and look of the uh, horn itself. And then I got the... Uh, got the output from the amplifier running into there and I'm going to mount that on the side here so he'll have, he'll have control over it so it doesn't quite squeal like that. Then on here we've got a, a waveform selector, an envelope control, frequency resonance uh, and a wet dry mix. So actually you could just use it as a loud hailer. <laughs> and then of course there's the danger button. So when we hit the danger button, it all gets very loud. So I'll turn it down just a little bit so you get some sense of what it does. So I start with the resonance quite low and the frequency quite high. <laughs> it's supposed to have stopped doing that. I try to get. Uh, I'll demonstrate. <laughs> And then we can adjust the, the frequency. So I turn it down a bit. What it's doing is it's, it's tracking pitch.
single sound is ended up with quite a lot more waveforms and stuff so so you can do this Other features are on the front here there is a input for recharging it and it runs with a lithium-ion integral battery uh, and you can see the charge indicator through the little window there um, uh, what other features has it got I think that's it really I mean obviously you can you can disconnect the amplifier so we have the chocolate box amplifier. My daughter very kindly bought me these chocolates for Christmas. And as I was eating the chocolates, I thought, ooh, that's a nice box. Uh, there. Yeah. I'm gonna start making those as well for other things, actually. Chocolate box amplifiers, cool. And then uh, most of the other stuff on here is purely cosmetic. So you can see, let's see. Yeah, what all the little controls here. Ooh, isn't it nice? Anyway, but just in case you want me to spend an inordinately long period of time making something for you, uh, I'm Mark. Mark Ty Wharton. And I'm from Sungus Magus, uh, the music shop in Glastonbury, which is in Abbey Mews. And it's in there, uh, you can see various instruments through the window. And we make weird stuff, or well, maybe I make weird stuff, uh, to order mainly, lots of custom stuff, uh, particularly custom electronics. We have a team of very clever electronics engineers and computer engineers upstairs from us who do all sorts of coding. And uh, we've got Ted, the Viking, who burns things into the front of the guitar. Shall I give you a tour, actually? Let's put this down for a minute. Um, yeah, let's see. How do I... Oh, that's my thumb! 